Yeah, welcome. In this video, I'm going to real quickly show you how to take an integral using a TI-83. Now you have an older calculator, and when you press MAP 9, you don't see the nice integral symbol. You see FM int, so you want to integrate a function, but you don't exactly know the syntax, and so that's why I'm here to help. Okay, so we press MAP 9 to get to the integration menu. And if I wanted to integrate a function like, I don't know, cosine of x squared plus 3, okay, that's the function we want to integrate. We need to tell it to integrate with respect to x. We're going to do comma x, comma, and so it's like as x runs from, say maybe we'll integrate this from 0 to 4. Okay? That means we're integrating f of x as x runs from 0 to 4. And then we can press enter, and it will give us 12.594. Okay, this is how we run an integral. But oftentimes in this class, we're wanting to integrate something, I don't know, like a velocity function. So, yeah, here I've got some weird stuff here. Uh, say maybe I've got, you know, one of these that I want to, I want to call on it to, to integrate it without typing in it yet again, especially something like 9 minus x squared cubed rooted. We don't want to do that. Okay, so suppose I wanted to integrate that to just, you know, determine well, maybe a total distance traveled, right? I want to do total distance traveled, and y2 represents the velocity of a function. I want to do total distance on, let's say, 0 to 8. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I know that the total distance traveled is the integral, so I do math 9. If I want to call on y2, I need to go to variables right there. What, click over to y variables. We need to select function because that's the mode we're in. We're in function mode. And that's where we get the y's. I'm going to take y2. Except I'm realizing now to insert the absolute value. Absolute value came from math number. Okay, so we insert that absolute value of y2. Okay, that's the function I want to integrate with respect to x as x runs from 0 to 8. That's what I said. And I was gonna, I was gonna have to think for a second, but that's where I get the total distance traveled if the thing I put in Y2 represented the velocity of an object. Okay, and I think that's gonna be all of the examples I need to show you. That's the syntax. Just remember, it's f in int function comma x comma lower bound of integration comma upper bound of integration. Thanks for watching.